Everybody knows this young man right here. Y'all can start clapping now. Y'all can start clapping now. Videographers, I want you to get ready. Photographers, I want you to get ready. Let me tell y'all something about this young man. If anybody knows anything about the poet organization, you know we do a lot of community charity work. And one day I put it out there on Facebook. I'm like, all right, cool. Poets talking about all this. We need to change the world. We, we, we need to do something for the community. Let me put this out on Facebook that we're going to go to the juvenile detention center and we're inviting every poet in the city of Chicago to come with us if they would like to, to speak to these young, young men. The only poet in the whole city that answered the call was Geronimo. The only one. This is the moment that all of you all have been waiting for tonight. I am so proud as I was with each of the artists that I introduced tonight to introduce to you our headliner for tonight. And I'm gonna ask you all for me. I want y'all to stand up on your feet. And we need some of these photographers by the stage because I want them to catch this dead innovation. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, the moment that you've been waiting for is here. The wait is over. Songs of the street. Ladies and gentlemen, are y'all ready for the next prince? I said, are y'all ready for the next prince? Y'all already know, put your hands together for Now I wouldn't be depressed. God searched for you to use them last words to be professed. My love, cause shorty, you got me obsessed. The mere thing you brings all stress. And it gives me a feeling like I owe you. My heart's in depth. The mere touch of you makes my heart quit and my soul shiver like Tourette's. Everything else is in there. Now my life ain't picture perfect, but if I was to picture perfect, I'd picture you. Cause you're a work of art like a Mona Lisa down to a Kodak picture too. You made this man grow. Anything else but love, I ain't trying to hear. There you go. Shorty, you a masterpiece like a Picasso. And if this makes me not so hard, so. See, I trade these wheat tails for weekends, these baggy jeans for magic scenes, and these fitty hats, well, for fitty hats. But, but not that I'm putting hats over you, it's just symbolic to our love that's overdue. See, just like finish, you stay on my brain, but on the front end, I'm repping your team. See, you put me in a new era, and if I snap back, you make me throw back mine. You open my lids. I can't fight it, it is what I is. I'm just trying to say we fit it for each other, that's all. Besides, if I didn't wear a cap, when you cook, clean, converse, work, make love like no other woman do, I could I honestly say, hats off. See, I supported these women, but they never gave back support like a boss do. That's why love songs constantly play while we driving. That be the cartoons. See, I never wanted to be a family guy. Thought the fellas would look at me as a simp, son. Now when I think about the future Roma, I'm happy to be called a family dad. 
It's so real, so real, this family life. I want to be your Martin, Gina. The Tommy Bonds to your Keisha. The meal house to your Lisa. The passport to your visa. Yeah, trip with me as we vacate shattered hearts that pierce souls like poison darts and eat to elige the fields of Greek gods and myth as we bask in this poetic bliss. I know I don't usually talk like this, but I would be remiss and repenting it if I didn't acquire in these sentences the full depths of our love. Yeah, at times I play the thug, but heaven must get a ghetto where angels sing in unison in falsettos. And I hear melodic notes every time I see you in stilettos. You made this man grow. Right. And at first the boy wasn't real like the doll made by Geppetto. But you made me who I am. Standing against Satan and kneeling to the great I am. So poke me on Facebook and send me a personal I am. Change our relationship status to forever. And indulge me in a silly aqua love like Hillary and Trevor. And if you feel it, scream my name from the Eiffel to the Willis. And no one would ever hush you. So if I had 500 words left, my last three would be, I love you. Now I'm about to give y'all the reason. Well, that, five, that was 500 words. That's the name of that poem. And the reason why I named that poem 500 words, because it's literally 500 words in there. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of work. Like, I had to take out a lot of it's and does. Like. So, <laughs> I'm going to give y'all the reason why y'all should definitely go out there and cop songs of the streets. You feel what I'm saying? No. Alright, y'all ready? Yeah. She said, son, okay now. <laughs> if you don't know God, your death is spent eternity in hell. That the devil was a liar and almighty Lord will prevail. So if you don't know him, you're sure to lose. Oh, me and God, we cool. She said, don't you know that the devil was plotting and he's coming back soon? Oh, me and the devil? Man, yeah, I'm cool too. She said, don't you know you spend the rest of your life at the fiery gates? Wait, who are you to judge what I say? Did God make you the official giver of his grace? See, I say we cool, cause that's the lingo he understands me through. See, when he spoke to me in them project set days, he came with baggy jeans and fresh J's. Reminded me of all the times I was on the grind, dirt on my mind, it was him that kept me fine. And it wasn't thou shalt not this and thou shalt not that. It was your fan, where you at? Walk me for a minute, that's how I'm shot. And when he finished it, he ended it in a doubt. Cause if God can create Adam and Eve, pass through trees, flood the world to be punished, then why couldn't he speak Ebonics? So yeah, we cool, y'all say y'all praises thee. I nod my head like, what's up, G? Y'all say hallelujah, Father. Well, I just say holla. Just know speaking in tongue ain't only got to be for the Christians that celebrate Christmas. I'm saying Jesus will come back as a project living dreadhead wearing lyrics. I ain't gonna listen to And you walking around petitioning ain't got nothing to do with me and how I mention him. And as far as the devil and me saying we cool too, that's because we got to understand it. And don't mess with me and I don't mess with those dudes. He pray on the weak and I pray on the weak. Only difference is he's praying on you while I'm praying for you. And I admit it, we are cordial, but we enemies in this war hold the rank of corporal. And I take the responsibilities of knowing my enemies better than I know me. And that's socially, locally, and globally. And if he ever do come knocking at my door, God will be watching through the people and Jesus be waiting on the porch. And even then, and even then, I got an arsenal full of angels that don't feel anger, but they hitting every angle to the toes to the spring slow. Yeah, Joe. And I can literally put that on my soul. And God wasn't yelling our senses D to be damned. He was yelling at Jesus like, stop him out, fam. <laughs> See, he talks to me in a way I understand. 
And that's fitted hat, long tee, and baggy pants. So yeah, we cool. So my night we scratch you a little pool. And if you still got a problem with that, maybe you and God just cool too. But it's only because you don't know him like that. You know what I'm saying? So, so that poem originated for, you know, me, like, you know, I had a lot of questions about God and a lot of questions about church, and I don't talk like I used to go to church and stuff like, or I go to church and stuff like that, and like, like the, the people be talking like certain ways, and I'm like, yo, like, I don't talk to God like that, I'm like, yo, what up, man, like, help, the cops be hearing me, help God, help God. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I talk to him. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, God, this, you know what I mean? So, you know, this, it, 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 it filled more questions. You feel what I'm saying? And that was a question I had to ask myself is, what was me and God relationship? You feel what I'm saying? And then, when I answered that question, another question popped up. And that was, what are you offering to the church? Yeah, I said it. What are you offering to the church? A lot of you walk around with this holy up and down because you're offering to the offering a little bit more. But I'm asking you, what are you really offering when you walk through that door? See, I pay my tithes different from most Christians. I use verbal expressions to teach God's lessons. It's ever present that some of y'all treat the pleasant like peasants because they can't afford to give more from their severance. Like that's the only road to the heavens. So in essence, what? Are you offering to the church? They say in my offerings, I got an offering to the offering, but I offer dreams that alter schemes of all the teams, of all the teams that serve the things on the block and they ain't scared to be who they expect to heat before they ever look weak. That's who I offer to. And in case some of y'all thinking that's illogical, God said it only takes the faith of a mustard seed, so imagine the passion of a full blown daffodil. Go to church and pass the pastor bills. But witness these kids pass the steel so they can blast the steel. Don't you realize to these babies to block that mass appeal? When I'm walking to that boy with the gun, won't build new church doors, but have them knock it down to your ones. Nah, nah, these words won't add to the church fun. But they had a hood so excited about the word, they'll leave like church fun. <laughs> Now don't get me wrong, God ain't saying don't take care of home. Galatians 6, 6, one who has taught the word must share all things with the one who teaches. And that goes for small gatherings to legions. All I'm saying is how could you elevate the elevated, meditate the meditated, congregate to a congregation. These are the new revelations. Just because you bring the church prophet doesn't mean you are the church prophet. Simple logic. <laughs> Meditate the meditated, congregate to a congregation. These are the new revelations. Just because you bring the church prophet doesn't mean you are the church prophet. Simple logic, conjugal epistolic, whatever you choose. Lately, all our views is bitter blues on the people in between them pews. And frankly, I'm not amused. When I repented, when I repented for my sins and asked God to deliver me, he didn't step down and say, My son, cash on delivery. It's killing me. All this preaching to the congregation when you can go to any gas station and find a dude waiting with that tool blade. This is true Satan. I ain't hating you. Sin. What are you offering to the church? And I don't mean what's in your purse. I mean what's in your personality. And actuality. The actuality is all about when you what's in your mentality. A person that brings more change to the church could be way more powerful than the person that brings more change to the church. See, see. When you God's property, now nah, you don't come with a land deed, but the blessings and miracles come faster than land speed. So yeah, I pay my tithes different from most Christians. I use verbal expressions to teach God's lessons. But I ask you, I said I ask you, I said I ask you, what are you offering to the church? Psalms of the streets, let's go. Yeah.